star chakra. So some people are like, what? What is that? <laughs> it can help you with a lot of things. It can help you balancing all your other chakras. It can help you with um, healing and allowing and connecting to your power. At the end of this video, this talk, I'm going to give you some exercises how to activate and power your Earth Star Chakra. It is a very, very powerful uh, vortex. It's a very powerful space. It's a very powerful dimension. And it's going to help you with mother love. It's going to help you with security. It's going to help you with so many things. And, I, and if you're wanting to work on your insight, being intuitive, being a medium, it helps with that also. A lot of times people are always talking about clearing, you know, our crown chakra or the star chakra or everything else. And they don't realize that the earth star chakra is one of the most powerful, if not the powerful that we need to connect to in this 3D dimension. The other dimensional spaces, then yes, there is other chakras or other vortexes or dimensions that can be just as powerful. I wanna thank you to all the people that are connecting. There is Claudia, Alicia, Sharon, um, uh, White, I don't know how to say your first name, <laughs> Carrie and Dragon Gal and Prong, just uh, Crypto Chick. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for connecting. I love, 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 love this. Okay, so power, security, love, abundance, prosperity, allowing. You know me, I'm always talking about allowing, so that's why I'm talking about this. I want you to allow. This is a year we need security, right? 2021, we need security. We need this abundance, right? We need this power. We need to be in the confidence. We need to be in the truth of who we are. And this chakra, star vortex, whatever you want to call it, the earth one, is what's going to help you with that. Some more people came on. Hello, <laughs> Arizona and, and Boston and beautiful places. Okay, so it lies. It lies. It doesn't lie to you. It lays or lies. <laughs> here, here we go with the English, right? It is 12 inches below our feet in the seven dimensional space of Earth. So it is where, to me, this is where the mother love and the mother vibration comes in again with the allowing whenever i'm doing readings um psychicdebbie.com whenever i'm uh, doing readings for people i'm always talking about allowing i'm always trying to help people to receive i'm always and mother love is receiving we know that so why not go for the most powerful one one of the most powerful ones and that's the earth uh, the earth vibration the mother love the this chakra is connected to the powerful space of you your power your power it's connected to your purpose okay your divine right purpose your divine right path a lot of people are not on their divine right path and and some people would be like well that's being rude and crude debbie and it's like no um, majority of the people that i'm connecting with they are not in their divine right path um it took Am I going towards my divine right path? Do I feel like I'm on it? I'm, yeah, I'm probably on the edge of it too. I need to grow and, and go into that space too. Do I know what direction I need to go in? Yes. So that's saying that I'm going towards my divine right path. Okay, so it helps you with your secure. It helps you being welcomed. It helps you be belong. Belong. A lot of times people that are not... Um, people that are like star seeds or Pleiadians or that you feel that you're coming from another dimensional space and don't feel like they belong on this earth plane. Um, this helps you belong, but not losing your power, not losing your, like I said, divine right truth. So it's, but it helps you connect with people, being welcomed, bringing the friendships, bringing the relationships, bringing the lover, bringing the partner, bringing the family together is uh, when you do this. It is called the billionaire chakra. Did you hear that? The billionaire chakra because of allowing abundance, prosperity. It doesn't mean it has to be financial abundance. If you're wanting abundance of the 12 chickens or the farmland or the business or the friendship or the love or the health, it's called a billionaire chakra. It clears, clearing and activating this chakra will bring those to you and probably much more, okay? It can heal your ancestors' karmic baggage. 
It can heal your ancestors' karmic baggage that we all carry. We're always, I'm talking about that all the time, how we're carrying so many people's stories. And that's where a lot of the blockages is. So it helps you with blockages, which I can also help you with, right? PsycheDebbie.com. Um, it helps you with your soul purpose and the space that you, where you belong on this earth plane in this 3D dimensional space, okay? It also helps you manifest faster and uh, again, soul purpose. So how can you tell you're blocked? How can you tell you're blocked? And people are gonna go, ah, Debbie, I already know. <laughs> and some other people are gonna go, no, 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 no. Okay, so I'm just gonna read some of them. Difficult manifesting, okay, feeling lonely. You know how people are like, oh, I'm so alone. And I, I have people come up to me and say I'm bored. And I'm like, how can you be bored? I, it's like, I don't have enough time to do everything. Even, I, 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 yeah. But anyways, so feeling bored, feeling lonely, homesick, not of this earth, um, unstable, not grounded, feeling stuck, confused with life purpose. And excuse me, my nose, I just, Georgie Moon says, can we have some thumbs up, please, for Debbie? Thank you, thank you, Georgie Moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Please um, comment and share. Please, please, please. It really, really helps me a lot. It really helps me a lot. So, okay. <clears throat> so the physical symptoms, symptoms, like the Simpsons, <laughs> symptoms of the earth star chakras, where we know that it's blocked. Here's some of the, here is some of the earth star physical, you're, you're disoriented. You're, you know, you're, you're confused. You don't know which way to go. You're, you're uh, abuse of the body. It's like you're over eating, you're uh, alcoholic, you're a druggie, you're even over exercising or har harming yourself in some way or not talking to yourself in the right way. That is telling you um, um, what, what is blocked, what is blocked. Okay, dizzy, bad habits, circulation issues like diabetic, heart issues, um, eating disorder, that kind of thing. The emotional blockages are nervous, anxiety, your anxiety, rambling, overactive. You're always active. You know how you have those high, high people that are like, ah, because they're not getting grounded. And I really hate the word grounded. It's not, it's just b being um, welcomed in this space. To me, I rather use that than saying being grounded all the time. <laughs> okay. Um, Having a nervous disorder, being insecure, you're insecure, you're jealous, you're competing. You feel that you're not enough, so you got to compete with somebody. Oh, they're doing something wrong to me. You're blaming the world around you. Oh, because of Sally, I'm not getting this. You know what I mean? It's, it's being insecure, jealousy, anger, that kind of thing. Being disconnected. Okay, so how do we heal this earth star chakra, how do we heal it? And I'll give you an exercise at the end, okay? This is not the exercise yet, but th these are some concepts that you can do, some exercises that you can do to help heal the star chakra and whatever one resonates with you, great. Okay, so I sounded like um, <laughs> the cereal, great, <laughs> with the lion, do they even have that anymore? Okay, so listen to high frequencies. Listen to like the earth star frequency, 68. 68.5 hertz okay or listening to 110 because 110 is in the uh egyptian pyramids it's it, it helps you balance it helps you connect so listening to these the vibrations so this is the sound because you can heal yourself through sound which is counseling words feelings emotions seeing things feeling things hearing things doing things so to heal you have to do some kind of concept you can't just sit there and go okay it, it's cleared because it's you want it to be cleared it doesn't work that way so this is the sound so can if you're a sound person and connects to sound and it makes you feel and can help you relax and be attuned then listen to a beta sound listen to the, an earth star chakra sound and i'm sure they have it um was that six six eight yes it was angel moon so i mean you can go on youtube or i'm sure that maybe there's some podcasts or whatever that has these sounds that you can listen to okay listen will help and align not only the earth chakra but align the seven chakras that are in your body 
in all the other ones, you know, I mean, there's thousands of chakras around us, right? There's a, a thousands of vortexes and dimensions and all that stuff. But this not only helps you with the body of you, but it also helps the earth. And that's what the earth needs new now too, right? If we all got together and we were um, in alignment with our chakras, our Kundalini and, and our earth star chakra was clear. If everybody's star, even if it was 60%, the world would be in a better place. It would be more in peace. Um, that special case says, oh my God, I'm definitely blocked. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's something that this uh, Earth Star Chakra, not too many people talk about it or even think, oh, should I clear that? And I've done readings for people. And like I said, they're always saying, oh, I need my crown and my third eye and my throat all open up or, you know, Star Chakra. But I'm like, when a lot of people are very connected to Earth and 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 it's clearing the the the, the chakras in your feet, which clears the Earth Chakra, too. So it's all connected. Doing the sound of OM or HUM, so like OM helps clear not only the body chakras, but it will help clear the earth chakra. So it's like light a candle and be in, speed, and be in uh, peace and then going OM is not only to heal you, but it's healing the earth too. Or HUM or HUM, you know, do you like that sound? When I'm doing that, it, it vibrates in my body and it feels good to me. It feels good to me saying positive affirmations people are like really debbie yes so saying positive affirmations like grounded stable grounded i feel grounded i feel stable i feel um welcomed i feel comfort okay i release old beliefs and negative patterns into mother earth yes give old patterns and old um thoughts, feelings, and emotions, which people call as negativity, into the earth. Earth is, I always say this to people, and I'm going to be swearing here, earth is made out of shit, right? It's a, a ball of dirt, and we all poop on it, and it grows the trees and the fruits, and the bear eats the fruit, and it shits, and it goes over and over again, right? So the earth, when you're giving your lower vibrational thoughts, feelings, and emotions into the earth, the earth is loving it. The plants are going yum, 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 yum. It's feeding me. It's feeding me. Look at it that way. Look at it that way. Uh, Carrie Bunny says we do um after our yin yang, our yin yoga. See, perfect. And then it's clearing that space. It's clearing that space. Um, I'm saying um a lot today. <laughs> Sorry. I connect with Mother Earth and I allow her beautiful energy recharge and ground me. Okay, so an affirmation could be, I connect with Mother Earth and I allow her beautiful energy to recharge me. To see that Mother Earth, see that vibration coming through you and recharging and clearing away and bringing in the, the highest vibration through you. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? I feel better when I put my feet on Earth or water. I feel centered, yes. And I feel very grounded when I'm by the ocean. And you guys know that. My peeps know that. Here's another affirmation. I allow Mother Earth's vibration to come through me, bringing support and security and abundance and joy to me now. Because a lot of people are not feeling supported. I get it. I've been lonely. I've had to live life on my own many, many a times now and with my my handsome husband and my kids, but there was a lot of times where I was by myself. Was I lonely? No, but I could have used that security. And I, th I think if I knew about this, I don't think I would have been insecure or flopping around like I was trying to get things to go, okay? So I allow Mother Earth's vibration to come through me and bring support, security, and abundance and joy through me now and forever. Always remember that. I release all my lower vibrations, fear, worry, and doubt into Mother Earth. I release my fear, worries, and doubts into Mother Earth. That helps you. Also, other another way to connect or activate Earth Chakra, and I'm going to give you, still give you an exercise. This isn't it yet. You can connect with Archangel Sandalfon. Sandalfin, Sandalfon tomato tomato whatever way you call it <laughs> so sandalfon sandalfon it sandalfon's not going to matter how you call her or his name because people say it's a he i feel like it's a she ask sandalfon to light up the silver gray chakra that is 12 inches below you 12 to 18 inches below you it doesn't have to be perfect 
It doesn't have to be perfect. So it's like calling on the angel to activate your earth star chakra. And I'm, I'm talking about this right now. And if you could feel my knees, because I don't have the best knees in the world from all the sports and everything I've done. It, they're, they're going, wee, 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 just even me talking about this, because it's already starting to activate. It's already starting. You're probably feeling it, too, with yourself. I bet you if you feel while we're talking through this, because all the beautiful peeps are hearing this, so we're all probably activating the star chakra, and it's all healing us all at once. They say more than, you know, one or more is more healing, more powerful. So let's do all these together, and it's going to bring strength to us, to the world. And 2021 means it. We all need it, right? Okay, so call in Archangel Sandofan and ask the beautiful angel, Archangel, to bring and light up our silver gray chakra, okay, to, to, to um, brighten it up. Ask her to ground you, to strengthen my bond to the earth. Angel, Angel Sandofan, 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 strengthen my bond to the earth. Allow that beautiful high vibration mother love to come through me. Ask her to send that mother love to go through your body, which is allowing again, which is allowing. Someone's saying, um, very hot feet at the time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, another way to start activating. So you say you're wanting to activate your uh, Earth Star Chakra this week. You're wanting to really clean it up. And if you're saying, I don't want to just do it for one day, I want to do it for a week. It's like doing the affirmations talking to angel sandalfon every night and every morning please clear send this mother love through me bring me the security bring me the abundance or whatever it is that you're desiring then eat root vegetables like potatoes sweet potatoes radishes eat root vegetables or plants or um things roots eat roots that is going to help you get connected again that's going to help you get connected again. Also, eat red or orange fruits or vegetables like tomatoes, oranges, melons, um, that kind of thing. Radishes again, you know, mushrooms. At reading, uh, doing things that are orange and red in color for that that um, first chakra, that first chakra, which will go down to your feet, which will go down to the Earth Star chakra. Okay, so obviously I'm always going to talk about crystals because I'm talking about crystals all the time so the ones that are going to help you the earth star chakra crystals that I'm going to talk about is uh, a couple of them and you know me I have a bunch of videos on it and I'll probably have a bunch of podcasts on it too so the first one is black tourmaline so and, I've, and people my peeps know that when I do black tourmaline it makes me rise but then I be able to connect to the earth star chakra but then also do the star chakra that's above my head and my heart chakra so that it will do the kundalini it will it will uh blend all the chakras together and clear so black tourmaline to me is very very high vibrational space okay uh someone says i love beetroot yeah eating beets eat beetroot that kind of thing fantastic even bamboo root People are like, what? Bamboo root? Bamboo root, it can heal a lot of things. So even taking bamboo root is, would work for that. Also, another stone that I was uh, talking about is black obsidian. And this is my uh, piece that you've got, you lovely, beautiful people have seen before. Uh, so red garnet, I don't know where my red garnet is, so <laughs> I can't show you that one. Um, the next one is pyrite, doing pyrite connecting with that there is the fire agate there is um moldavite okay moldavite and the best one that i think it really really helps you because it's a crystal it's um very vibrational um is god this thing is heavy is smoky quartz smoky quartz to me is more powerful than the obsidian the tourmaline the pyrite the moldavite why is because it's it's created well obsidian would probably be pretty up there too because it's made out of lava and the glass and everything but these are stones that are in the ground that are really connected to it and the smoky quartz to me is light and dark together and it, it i feel like it brings that beautiful vibration through my body 
it really goes through my feet. So the, I, I ver I'm very, very connected to uh, smoky quartz. It, it kind of reminds me of earth and water, earth and water to me, because it's got the clearness to it, but it's still got the darkness in it. And I just, I just love it. I, I, I connect with it very, very well. I had someone, I had a couple guys, they literally got this out of a cave and then handed it to me. The, these two guys and their eyes, I've, I've talked about them before, and their eyes are like about this big because they were in such a high vibrational place. And they got it out of a, a cave. They, a friend, a beautiful friend of mine, Nancy, told me about it. And then the two guys, and I bought it from them. And fantastic. I love this stone. I love it. So I have it in my room before you walk in. So connect with those. Like I said, I have videos on that, talks on that. Also, another way is to connect with oils. So I don't talk about oils that often on here, but talking about, you know, holistic oils. So like cedarwood, cedarwood, um, uh, sandalwood, frankincense. I love frankincense. A lot of times when I'm, before I'm doing readings, I put frankincense on my wrist and I put it on my third eye. And frankincense can help you rise or get grounded or or relax into the body and feel secure to me it does to me it does cedar wood again because of the wood and the roots the cedar wood to me i love that smell and it feel again coziness warmth connection sandalwood exactly the same thing someone said uh debbie is there a particular reason all the stones you suggest are dark well probably because of the earth it's calling because it's earth it's black it's red it's like connected to the root chakra it's connected to the earth chakra like lava because like obsidian is made out of the lava and so and that's it's it's the closest to the true essence of earth where it's built with the lava and that that mother love power is in so that's why that's why um someone says my mom loves sandalwood yes it's it's beautiful beautiful smell Okay, to spiritual vibrational active. Okay, so here is, um, this, is, this is going to be the activation, okay? So I want you lovely people to put your feet on the ground. Um, nothing, I don't care if your feet are crossed or your hands are crossed or your hair is crossed, it doesn't matter. Or you could even just be sitting and you don't have to have your feet on the ground, you're just going to use your tailbone. Okay, so... What I want you to do is take a, a deep breath right now. Let's just say, <sighs> take a deep breath and then take another deep breath because we're going to relax and we're going to allow. This is going to help you allow and whatever it is that you're needing for power, personal truth, release blockages, allow great abundance to you, allow that lover to you, allow that health to you. A lot of people are being sick right now. Let's bring that health that trueness to everybody and people that have the COVID, people that are sick, people that are in the hospitals, this is gonna help that, okay? So if your mother or someone is sick, they, they're they fighting the COVID or whatever, picture this on their star chakra, on their earth star chakra, or have them do it and help clear. Am I saying it's going to cure it? No, but will it help? Yes, that I know for sure. Okay, so take that deep breath. <sighs> And take another deep breath. And I'm allowing good in and I'm allowing good out. And I'm allowing good in and I'm allowing good out. Okay? Allow a beautiful sparkle of light about 15, 20 inches above your head. Okay? So allow a beautiful spark above your head 15, 20 inches. Picture that in your mind's eye. Allow this light to come through your physical chakras. So you're gonna have it go through your crown. You see it going through your third eye. You see it going through your throat. You see this beautiful, beautiful light going through your heart chakra, going through your solar plex, your sacral, your root. See it going down through your knees and your legs and through your feet, okay? So see it going out of your feet and once the light is solidly placed, but still vibrating, visualize and it's going through and it's going down towards your earth star chakra, okay? So now visualize that your earth star chakra is this bright, bright ball 
of light, but it's silver. And then it's like 12 inches below your feet, or if you're sitting your tailbone, then 18 inches. So 12 to 18 inches below your feet or your tailbone. Picture this beautiful bright light that came from above, going through all your chakras, going through your legs, going through your feet, to your silver, bright, beautiful, crystal, um, twinkles, light of silver light of your star chakra, your earth star chakra. So now make the ball brighter. Now brighter. And if you need it to be bigger and get bigger and bigger, that's great. But picture it getting brighter. And picture it getting brighter. And picture that it's getting even brighter. And ask Sandalphon, Archangel Sandalphon, to assist you to allow this beautiful light to go up through your legs from the star chakra, this silver and this gold, that light that came from above, they're mixed together. Okay? That it's mixed together. And that it's and that it's pulsating through the body of you from the earth chakra, the star chakra, and it's going through your 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 all your body chakras right now. And then you say, I and I, Debbie, allow my earth chakra to clear away any lower vibrations that are in my body or in my vortex. I, Debbie, allow this beautiful, beautiful, powerful earth star chakra to clear all lower vibrations and to bring in a higher, higher vibration of mother love, abundance, independence, personal power, personal truth, welcoming prosperity abundance i allow it to go through my body and ooze through my body my hair my fingers my toes everything through my whole vortex i allow this beautiful earth star chakra to heal repair repair align me debbie's griggs earth star chakra with mother earth and the spiritual realm I will thank Sandalphon and I will thank Mother Earth. I allow this beautiful star, Earth star chakra, to heal and repair and align all my chakras, to align all my powers, to align all my knowing, to bring beautiful love, bring my personal power, to bring that Mother love to bring allowance to me, bring great financial abundance to me, bring great health to me, and bring great love to me. And most of all, I allow the, this beautiful earth star chakra of this beautiful bright, bright silver light and the gold light of the star chakra come through and clear and give me great joy, great, great joy. I thank Sandalphon, 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 and then I thank Mother Earth, thank Mother Earth, I thank you, Mother Earth, I thank you, Mother Earth. So be it, so be it, so be it. And then take a deep breath and see what the world is going to bring to you. Listen to your insight, listen to your hunches, listen to those signs, because now Mother Earth is going to say, get out of the way, let me help you, and let me allow to bring to you. Okay, so take a deep breath. Oh, I'm thankful, thankful, thankful. Uh, time's up already. It goes really, really fast. Do this exercise of clearing your earth star chakra. Do it for three days in a row. Do it for five days in a row. You will notice the difference. You will sit up straighter. You'll be in the more power. You'll listen to your insight. You'll listen to your hunches. You will get good guidance. And finally, allow that beautiful mother love to come to you through the, the earth plane, okay? It will not only heal you, but it will heal everyone else. And everybody doing this together, we have already healed. We're already healing, okay? Isn't this fantastic? People are saying that tears are coming out of their eyes. The emotions are coming out. Um, they were saying it was a great exercise. They're going to do it again. I am here for you. Please, please, please. Um, thank you. Um, like, share, comment. 
My information is down below in the links below um, and at PsychicDebbie.com if you want to get a reading. And please, please, please like, comment, and share. I appreciate that. I want to give you blessings and smiles, and I'll talk to you next Tuesday. All right. Bye-bye.